Good morning. So we are getting ready for a ski day, specifically a snowboard day. So first of all, I'm starting off, i um, just going to put some lip balm on. It's actually a very small tub of Egyptian magic. It's just like, um, like a high-end Vaseline. <laughs> and I know that this angle isn't great. It's a little bit um, low. But my, I don't have my tripod and my camera is actually balancing on a box of Kleenex and a roll of toilet paper. Washing with Eclipse and tonight is actually the night of the Eclipse. And I think it's a blue moon too? I'm not sure. I have to, um, I have to look into all of that. So the new Eclipse, um, you can actually just kind of leave it on as a mask, which um, is one of the reasons why I really, really love the new version. It's like, it goes on like a slippery essence. It's just got the like little baby foam and it's got some B vitamins in it. And it's got some green tea in it. And it's got some licorice root in it. Apparently I have mascara on from yesterday. Don't sleep with your mascara on. So, okay, normally whenever I'm going to be doing something outdoors, especially in the winter, I want to start off after I do a nice gentle cleanse um, with something that's a, like mega, mega humectants. Now there are some humectants in Petrichor, it probably wouldn't be what I would go for if my like sole goal was to be humidifying. <laughs> humidifying. Sounds like my son is up. And don't worry, someone else is with my son right now. So I'm just like, oh, I hear him up. He's crying. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Next. So let's pretend I put on, um, I mean, yeah, like I said, like Petrichor does have humectants in it, but it's not like it's main purpose but what it does help with is it helps strengthen other antioxidants which will be nice while I'm exposed to some weather today so I'm gonna be doing I'm doing um, midnight now which is the heavier of my two oils um, because and I did a lot of drops because I want something Heavier. Yeah, apparently I just like didn't take off my mascara. Always remove your makeup. Mm. I'm gonna do a drop of Etain because I have a pimple that I'm trying to extinguish. It like has never come to a head. I've had it for like, you know, five days now. It's sort of like annoying and just sort of staying like this, but it's good because um, this is actually one of the things that Etain does is sometimes it just, it, it like if your zit is already coming out, it's gonna help heal and like shrink the volcano. I always use vol volcano imagery when it comes to pimples. But if it's still subterranean and it hasn't come out yet, it's gonna stop it from doing it. So that's what, that's the state of this one. It's not coming to a head, which isn't always like, satisfying in a way but it's much better um especially if you have sort of my skin tone if you're kind of like olive or light olive because once you do get the ones that start coming out um you, they leave scars like ugh, all the time so that's my number one thing that i hate about pimples is the scarring um okay so got some oils on this is already nicely absorbed and i'm just doing a whole lot of and Delios, like La Roche-Posay. I'm not crazy about this sunscreen, but it's not bad. This is like a face and body one. And it's stinging. Yeah. I got sunburned yesterday. Did I mention that? So I don't know how much you, how much, if you saw how much I just applied, but it was like a big glob. And I'm actually just going to do a tiny bit more for demonstration purposes. See how much this is? Use a lot more than that. Do not underestimate how much um, albedo and refraction you get off of that snow. Um, so that means not only are you getting burnt like this, but you're getting burnt like 
from below, from the sides, from everywhere. And I'm just patting it in, and especially my nose and my sort of this part of my cheeks. Um, I do not want to get goggle tan, so that's whenever you're wearing your goggles and your nose gets really red and then or, and or brown, and then you get like red and or brown here, and you sort of end up with this like reverse raccoon mask. I'm trying not to get that look, although it does have that very après ski kind of vibe. My lip balm, my lips are hurting today, and then I'm gonna put on. I don't have it here though. But I'm gonna put on um, the Sun Bum, very banana y <laughs> lip balm. I just carry that one around with me in my jacket. And I'm not doing any makeup because it's just going to slide off my face. I'm just going to add some dry shampoo to my hair in the hopes that whenever I take off my helmet, my hair doesn't look too crazy. I'm just putting it in there. And it's really, it's just so that it doesn't become like a sweaty, greasy, matted thing into my head. <laughs> um, I'd rather it be kind of like powdery weirdness for now. Um, just because, yeah, it'll like be able to absorb a bit more and then it just won't look quite as ridiculous. And I mean, who cares if it does really. So I'm gonna get my coffee. Sunscreen in the winter always. Ski day, yeah.